I'm Matt Bichard here in Dallas for NARIT's REIT World 2017. Joining me today is Scott Peters, the President and CEO of Healthcare Trust of America. Scott, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Now, earlier this year, Healthcare Trust purchased Duke Realty's medical office building assets for $2.8 billion. What impact has that transaction had on your portfolio thus far? Well, we felt that it was a transformational opportunity for us as a company. We're now in our 11th year. and. We've been public now since 2012, and this took us to a market cap capitalization of maybe nine or 10 billion. Uh, quality assets, we thought they were the top quality assets that were available in the healthcare sector for medical office buildings in the last five years. So the opportunity to buy $2.3 billion of, of the, that portfolio, 90% were in our markets, and that was really the key part for us. Uh, it just laid right into our, our key market strategy, we have always had an asset management uh, program, leasing, engineering. Uh, we offer you know, all the, the services to the tenants. And this is an opportunity for us to get critical core mass in markets. We have now uh, nine markets with a million square feet or more and 17 markets with over 500,000 square feet. So it really gives us the opportunity to bring value to our tenants and to shareholders. And looking at your development pipeline, what should we expect in 2018 in terms of new developments coming online? Well, for us, you know, when we bought the Duke portfolio, um, it came with a platform of, of some development folks, and these folks had been at it for an, almost 10 years and have a really good reputation, have done a very good job, brought some relationships with us, with them to uh, Healthcare Trust of America. You know, we're going to be a very disciplined uh, developer. We really look to develop with folks that we have relationships with, look for healthcare systems that want us as as a opportunity to build something on campus or across the street. So we'll probably do something where 100, 100 million to, to 250 million a year. That's consistent with what the Duke port, port platform did uh, the last two or three years when they were, when they were at Duke. Now, uh, the healthcare real estate business is often you know, influenced by technology and other innovations. Is there an innovation or new technology that, that you see having a particular impact in the near term on the business? Well, you know, we're, we own medical office buildings, and so I think the biggest thing that is going on right now in, the, in our sector is that the healthcare systems or the physician groups are looking for efficiency. It's all about generating patient usage. It's all, all about generating efficiency within the square feet that they have. You know, practices now are much bigger, so you now have practices that are 3,500 square feet or 5,000 square feet. They want to maximize it. The healthcare systems want to make sure that the right practices are in the right locations within buildings. And so for us, it's more a matter, I think, of the innovations that are coming along and the ability to use space and service patients. Okay. Scott, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. For more information about NARI's REIT world, be sure to visit NARI's website, REIT.com.